Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. So for today's meditative session, I saw a unicorn. <laughs> and unfortunately, the spirit deck does not, the spirit animal deck does not have a unicorn. But I'm going to tell you what I think it means for you guys. Um, I think it's trying to say that like you're rare, like you're different and I don't know it's like such a deep like I don't want to start crying shit but it's like I feel like you because you're a Virgo you try to please others right and it like disempowers you but like you're not you're not meaning it to like disempower you you're just like trying like that's who you are right like you're very giving you're very helping you want to like you want to see other people happy so like you might put yourself down to, like you might you know Maybe it's like you're taking a little less than you should, but it's like, I want this person to be happy and maybe like I'll get it back in return one day. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, maybe sometimes there's not an equal exchange of energy and you're like, it's okay. Like I'm a Virgo, like I can take it. But it's like, I want you to know that it's like, you deserve to get the same thing back. And I think like you can, it just depends on you, right? Like it's all dependent on you, Virgo. It's like you show people what you desire like there's a song that's coming to head it's so ratchet it's like a like a guy's only gonna do what you allow right like that's basically the the message here it's like what you allow is what you're gonna get so it's like always allow the most the utmost because you are rare like you are someone like very special and you don't you can receive what you give back in return it's just like you have to show people the way and i think that's the thing it's like Like, I think you think, like, by showing them how much you love them, they'll show it back to you. But it's, like, a dynamic more of, like, having to, like, tell them. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's more upfront about it. Like, instead of, like, trying to guess. Like, like people aren't mind readers, right? So, like, they are not going to understand what you expect from them. So, I feel like the answer is, like, you have to say it. You have to be more like upfront about it and it's not it's not it's like it's not who you are like you're like ah like i don't that it makes me uncomfortable like i have to like say it and i have to like but i feel like if i told like an aries <laughs> like yo you have to say like what you want what you expect and they'll be like okay sure like and they'll say it point blank but for virgo it's like eh, like it's an uncomfortable thing it's like eh, like and i feel like that comes from like the way that you look at yourself it's like or like we like I don't know it's it's an uncomfortable thing because you're like well what if this person walks away or what if this person doesn't reciprocate it you know what I mean and it's scary so like you'd rather just not say it but it's like if someone won't reciprocate what you need then like they're not meant for you do you know what I'm saying as a friend as a partner as anything so yeah Virgo like you are the unicorn you are like that special person you are you are that so it's like act like it right like treat yourself like it make sure others treat you like it and i'm pro i promise you like they will like i feel like people don't want to lose you so they they will act accordingly you just have to kind of say it and i think it's uncomfortable for you to say it but if you say it you're just going to be better off for it so yeah Vero, that's what i got for meditative session let's pull some cards and see what we got Okay, Virgo, I think that we have two people in this reading and I feel like one person missed out and one person is like going like headed in this like direction. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this, I feel like this is you, right? In this energy and this is someone else's energy. Um, it could be just one person. It could be like the tests that you've gone through in the past, but I see someone still working in like ego energy with like integrity in reverse right 
and I see someone here like working with spirit and being like in empress mode. Do you know what I'm saying? So I see like two different energies. It could have been like a past energy that you've been in, but I feel like we're talking about present day. Like I, I, I know like a lot of readings go back into the past a lot, a lot. And it's like, you're just hearing about the past. You're not hearing about the present. And I feel like this is a present thing. Like this is a right now thing. I don't think like, I don't get readings about like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I get like, this is present. And I feel like this, that's why I feel like this is someone else. Like this is the hero is like my it's like an an ego card to me I see it as like an ego card um, and I see it with integrity in reverse it's like someone's still working in ego right and like with the nine of wands in reverse and the six of swords in reverse it's like this person to me is like the person that's going to like be receptive and open to love and this is like the downloads that they're getting like maybe like the eclipse is like trying to break through some sort of barrier but like this person i feel like can't be helped and unfortunately that's like what i'm seeing with this side of the energy whereas on this side of the energy we have like a totally different vibe we have like the empress and the scribe right and we have the seven of swords which is like this is coming up in everybody's reading that's why i think this week there's like i don't know if there's like a challenge that's coming up for every single sign this week or like a chance to like go back around the karmic loop or like go towards the new cycle i think that's kind of like what the message is or like i know everyone's like saying we started this new beginning already and like this but like i just keep getting this card so maybe this is like a confirmation that you're going in the right direction or this is like some sort of test that had to be like has to be taken in the present like every sign is getting this card though it's kind of weird um and this is like spirit right this is a guidance this is like uh spirit kind of leading the ways yeah but i feel like i feel like this empress is you virgo who's like sitting in this energy remember i was saying like in the in the meditative session like you're the unicorn like you also have the empress out here so it's like it's like it's hard to get to this mode right it's hard to get in this energy because this energy is all queens combined right and you have to go through the page and then you have to go through the night and you have to go like you have to go through all the lessons to get to this level so I feel like this is you kind of like graduating, right? And this is like, this is like the end, right? This is like the gift at the end. I saw like unicorns and rainbows and like maybe this is the rainbow that I was seeing. It's like you're, you graduated, not like you're graduating, like you're going on to the next thing. So maybe this is like confirmation for you Virgo that you're not at the test level. You're already past the level. You just passed the test for like the people that I'm talking to and Yeah, I feel like every sign is kind of at a different point, but I feel like this is saying that you you graduated. <laughs> I don't know, like the, your message is a little different. Like you're already there, um, and I don't. I think that someone that you wanted to go with you is not going, unfortunately. Like with the hero card and integrity in reverse. Like I have, I don't even want to put the like I want to separate the cards. <laughs> like that's how not on the level this person is, and I feel like you have. This could be you like sitting in the king of cup energy but this could be someone else right that you're gonna have to take along because i have like in this seat two like masculine energies i want to say right and there's one here that's not coming and there's one here that is coming along right so it's like someone is coming along and someone is getting left behind and why is this person getting left behind it's like they didn't they didn't they didn't show up like they didn't they didn't get the spiritual downloads right they didn't get like the messages the synchronicities the symbols like whatever was being sent to them they didn't they didn't get it like they just didn't understand it and it could be because of their ego right like they were facing this energy of like sitting in this you know it's hard like we have to go through the dark night of the sh of the soul we have to like see the things that we are like culpable for right and like i feel like this person didn't want to do it like this person did not want to do it and like with integrity in reverse it's like i feel like they lie to themselves you know what i mean it's like it's like it's like they lie to themselves it's like you you might say like well they're lying to me or they're like not showing up for me but it's like they're not even showing up for themselves like they're not even there <laughs> like they can't be there for you because they're not even there for themselves you know what i'm saying like they're not at that level even for themselves maybe they don't have like love for themselves maybe they haven't like there's so many lessons this person still has to learn right about themselves and because they're still working in this ego energy right they're still working in this like this bs like 3d like 
energy and you're on this other side like so evolved so it's like you can't this person can't go with you where you're going and i think that's really unfortunate because i think you really care about this person and i think this person is like this person is important to you and it's like you would want to take this person with you right like maybe this is the person you wanted to be with you on this like on this like that's the person that you wanted to be with you and like I see someone else though there for you in the with the king of cups you know sitting in the same like position as a hero it's like like someone else is gonna fill that role and it's I don't think it's the person that you like thought it was or the person that you were hoping it was gonna be or I think it's like it's like a complete 180 like of who you thought it was gonna be or like what you expected but it's like you're just kind of going with the flow right you're kind of going along with what like this plan that spirit has for you so that's what the scribe is it's like you're you're just open to like receiving right you're open to like the messages from spirit you're open to the guidance right and that's why this is coming for you like they have a better match for you than you have for yourself like this is the one you had for yourself right and like look at the energy this person's sitting in right <laughs> like nine of cups and like nine of wands in reverse like literally the opposite of this not like not being receptive not being open not wanting to give integrity in reverse <laughs> like six of swords in reverse like this person is not at this uh, your level and they can't come with you like they they can't like spirit doesn't want them to go with you like why do they deserve to go with you when they haven't put the work in right they're not at the same spiritual level as you so you're going to meet someone at the similar level as you like and it's like it's like well you want this person and spirit's like no like we know what's best for you so just like listen to us right like that's the, the message i'm getting and you're like you're walking through like you're about to start you know what i mean on this new adventure on this new journey on this like new part of your life because you're on like the path of spirit like you're following the guidance you're going with the flow you're like sitting in empress energy and like whoever this is is like not so they can't come with you and i know that's like a hard lesson because like i feel like you're virgo and I remember in the beginning i was like you're like well like you'll help anyone out just so like they can get to that level like you know what i'm saying but this is something that has to be done by this person alone you know what i mean just how you had to go through this alone like there's a part of your journey that was alone right like there's a part of your journey where you were in bed alone crying and you were like only with spirit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's the that's what this person has to go through now. And like maybe they won't <laughs> like maybe it'll take it'll take them way longer. But that's just it is what it is, right? So Virgo, let's pull some advice for you because I don't even know like I don't think you need advice. I think you just need to be told like this person isn't for you. And I know it's like the hardest thing to hear but spirit knows what's best for you you have the king of cups here and you have the empress right and just trust spirit like don't trust me like i'm here to tell you the message but the message is from them so it's not you know what i mean it's like trust them uh <laughs> yeah let's get some advice Okay, Virgo, let's start with this person. They, you guys have different Divine Feminines and I'm feeling it strongly because this is the ego card to me in the Divine Feminine deck, Mashig, Mashig Labdron. I'm sorry if I killed that name. The Diamond Hearted Dakini. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. Like that's the work that this person still has to do, right? They have to face their ego, right? You've already did, you've already done this work. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that this person can't do it because you you did it, right? You faced your ego and you went into that dark aspect of yourself and you like reflected and you did the work and you're following spirit, right? Like you guys got hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. So it's like you already are in this energy of spirit being your guide. This person still has to get there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that this person can't get there. It's just that they have to do the work for themselves, right? They have to 
look at their own darkness, right? And it's not, like they have to face themselves still, right? Yeah, there's something here that this person has to come to consciousness. Like they need to get it to come to consciousness and they haven't gotten there yet. So it's like they're still in this energy, but you've already done this energy. You've already done this work. And that's why you guys have Amaterasu, the goddess of light. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. Like you understood this concept that we are, or like people are a reflection of ourselves, right? And like the inner work that we're doing is not only for ourselves, but it's for, it's for our, to create this reality that we desire, right? And it's like, that's where you're headed, right? That's where you're off to. That's where you're already starting. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's because like you believed in yourself, right? You believed in spirit and you let the, you let the, like you let them guide you, right? Like you let them take you. Yeah, and it's so funny because if you read this card, it says sometimes even the solar goddess needs to be inspired or reminded of why she shines so brightly. And that's why I feel like your meditative session was about, it was like, you guys needed to be reminded that you were the unicorn, right? You guys needed to be reminded of that fact. And it's like, even sometimes the, like, the sun needs to be reminded of how like beautiful it is, right? Not for the sake of her own reflection, but also for those beloved beings that need her rays to, of light to remember their own. Yeah, I think, I think like maybe this person will see that ray of light within you and follow, but th that's, that's like, that's the energy, right? It's like, I think you have like an important mission here. Like maybe this is your mission, right? Like you're, this is your, you're doing your part, right? You're already on your path. You're on the correct path. So it's like, keep going, right? Uh, if this person sees your like ray of light and the way that you're acting, maybe they'll follow and maybe they won't, but that's not on you, right? And spirit is guiding them as they're guiding you. So it's like, it's up to them to see the messages, right? It's up to them to kind of like open up to it. You can only do so much. So like you're already on your new path, right? And you have, you, you're not going to be alone. So I feel like it's like, just keep going and let this person pursue, like follow in your footsteps, right? And like, you're going to be a beacon of light to a lot of people. So just keep going. And yeah, like just keep letting spirit be your guide. I mean, it's getting you this far, right? <laughs> I think you've like got the confirmation that you're on the right path. And you're doing the right things and it's like i think this person has the confirmation that they're not on the right side and they'll they'll figure it out and it's a for, it's unfortunate like we've all been in this situation we've all sat in the seat it's like not even a judging seat it's like uh like i've 100 percent been in this sit, sat in the seat and i had to do the work right so it's like i'm sympathetic towards this person but like i believe in them and i know they can do it but i also feel like you guys are on like separate paths now so it's like you need to continue going on to your path this person could catch up you know like i'm not i'm not like telling this per i'm not like trying to like shit on this person's life i'm trying to say like they're just not at the same time as you like they're not on the same consciousness level as you they have work to do and like let them do their work like don't try to do their work for them don't just be the beacon of light that you are and you're headed on a new path you're on a new timeline you're like on, you're on to the next thing and it's like you're not going to be alone you have spirit you have this person and you're sitting in empress energy so yeah virgo i love this reading for you guys i hope it resonates with you and i'll see you guys next week bye